Mountfield is now player coach and captain of the Vescott Stadium. Mountfield was a big favourite at Brunton Park, as too was striker Andy Watson, the £60,000 signing from Blackpool. Walsall managed by Dane, Jan Sorensen lie third from bottom of Division 2, but the home record is good. Two wins, a draw and just one defeat. Like Carlisle, Walsall have also been busy in the Coca-Cola Cup, pulling off one of the upsets of the round, knocking first division leaders Nottingham Forest out of the competition. Here's Matt Janssen, and the word is well and truly about that he requires very careful handling. Two defenders come in, and that's a free kick to Carlisle United. Andy Cousins and Owen Archdeacon stand over it. Archdeacon takes, and the save from James Walker, and eventually it's behind from Babiche. Well, quick thinking from the former Celtic player, almost producing the goal. James Walker did well to make up that ground. Babiche was first to react before either Aspinall or McAlinden could get there. Kudwachi, Cousins. The possession's given away. This is Bolly. 1 0. What a finish from Roger Bolly. That's his ninth goal of the season. The Frenchman overtakes Matt Janssen in the scoring stakes. Stem from the loss of possession, but some finish. Nothing at all. Tony Kay could do about that. Also one, Carl Arnell. Cumbrians pressing to get back on level terms. It's McAlinden, Archdeacon. Aspinall at the far post. Spaced across. And a second chance. Cousins, who strikes woodwork. Well, it was the mistake by Andy Cousins, the loss of possession that led to Walsall's goal. The former Leeds United player with a shot on the turn. Close to the Carlisle equaliser. It's a long ball in towards Aspinall. Tried to take it in his stride but still has the possession. Janssen is crying out for it. Cousins McAlinden also forward. Aspinall's cross. Keeper stretches but safely collects. More promise there for Carlisle United. Well, it's end-to-end -end period of play. This is Andy Watson. First time cross into the bottom volley. It's 2 now. Bolly's 10th goal of the season. Coming with 14 minutes of the second half played. Andy Watson, the provider. Roger Bolly with a cool finish. The Carlisle United defence carved open. Superbly executed. And Carlisle now with that real mountain to climb. Possession is given away by Warren Aspinall. Here's Bolly. He's on a hat trick. But Keg with a stop. Denies Roger Bolly goal number three. Or well, possession was lost by Warren Aspinall. You might have put a bob or two on Bolly burying that. But he reckoned without a goalkeeper of the calibre of Tony Keg. Smart stop. Here's Warren Aspinall for Carlisle United. Aspinall loses out to weight of numbers. The possession is regained. Archdeacon. Now it's Billy Barr. Aspinall indicating where he wants it. Archdeacon. And now it's with Walsall's Andy Watson. Good turn from him. Now it's Bolly. Through to Watson. Watson through on goal. Cake comes out. It's three. Andy Watson gets that goal against his old club. Making it Walsall 3, Carlisle United now. Well, as Carlisle 
tried to push forward. There was always the danger to be caught out at the back. That's precisely what happened. And the former Brunton Park favourite puts this game beyond his old club. And Carlisle fans will remember that sort of finishing with some fondness. Not today, though. It's just a few days ago that Carlisle fans were anticipating that Coca-Cola tie against Spurs. The season has a rather different look about it this afternoon, or what's become a very grey afternoon at the Bescott Stadium. Not grey if you're a Walsall fan, you'll have enjoyed every minute of it. Everybody said Walsall were in a false position in the bottom three. They're looking a far better team than that. But here come Carlisle United. Ten minutes or so of this contest remaining. Janssen to Gareth McAlinden. Janssen's in the middle. Aspinall is also there, as too is Owen Archdeacon. Oh, another shout for a penalty this time. It's given. Gareth McAlinden, the man brought down. The referee well placed to make the decision. Foul by Wayne Evans. It'll be Owen Archdeacon, the Carlisle United captain, to take. 3 1. It's Owen Archdeacon's fourth goal of the season. And for the first time in the second half, the Carlisle United fans have had something to cheer. Archdeacon's fourth goal, as I say. The third from the penalty spot. But is it too little, too late? That will do for the afternoon, says Mr Baines. Walsall defeating Carlisle United by three goals to one. Two from the sublime Roger Bolly. One from Carlisle old boy Andy Watson. All Carlisle had to offer that late penalty from Owen Archdeacon. They're going to cause a lot of team problems playing that way, but I mean, we got we got caught today one or two times, and uh, in the end, it could have maybe been more than the three. Do you think it was a bit of a hangover from Tuesday night? Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I've, I've played before in um, big cup games, and we've come to the league game, and we've we, we've done all right. And today, I was quite surprised because I, the players come into the game very confident after the way we've been playing in the league and the cup games, especially. So. We all felt confident, but it was just a blow all of a sudden, you know, things weren't going well. I mean, we couldn't really get back on terms and put them right, so that's something we'll have to look at this week. I watched them against uh, Tottenham, and they performed very well indeed, and, uh, and obviously the chairman is setting the, uh, uh, setting the team out every week there, so, so I'm quite pleased that we didn't lose to them, because uh, the chairman might have sacked me for this one, I don't know. <laughs> well, Derek, you've got a big smile on your face, pretty satisfying to win against one of your old clubs. Yeah, it was great today. We've had a, a pretty good run until last week down at Plymouth, and we let ourselves down. And we needed to bounce back straight away. And to do it against one of my old sides is uh, a, little bit, a little bit more special for me.